Hey guys, welcome back. I'm so glad you're here. Welcome to the act series. <laughs> and today we're going to take some action by doing a 35 minute chest and triceps. Okay. We're going to work that upper body. Have a lot of fun. We're going to be on the mat for a lot of the activities. So you're going to want to grab your mat. If you want to do like a chest press, um, and on the, on the bench or an ottoman, you can do that. That just kind of changes that range of motion a little bit, or you can do it on the floor and just do a floor press. You also, we're going to do some dips. So you can do that on the floor or you can grab a chair to do those dips. That's up to you. I just wanted to give those options. Otherwise grab your sweat towel, your drink, and of course your great attitude. Let's get this thing rocking. Okay, so I'll be a chance to grab your spot tell you drink and your great attitude. If so, let's get warmed up. Let's start by opening and closing that chest. Rotate those thumbs up and around. Give yourself a hug. You're so glad you're doing this today. Three more like this. Two more. Last one. Let's hinge down to big swings. Alternate what's inside. Okay, which one's going in front? Nice big swings. Two more just like this. Last one. Okay, this time we're gonna throw those arms forward with those thumbs up. Boom. Big swings. This is range of motion. Three, two, last one. All the way up and overhead. Boom, boom, boom. We've got three more like that. Two more. Last one. Okay, let's take that thumb forward and back. Boom, and boom. Two more. Last one. Okay, this time we're gonna take that arm. We're gonna go all the way over. Still getting that shoulder. Get in that trunk a little bit more. Three more like this. Two more. Last one. Okay, big swing. Get that shoulder moving. Oh, let's reverse that baby. Woo. Yeah. Okay, other side, forward and back. Moving that thumb back and forth for three. Two. Last one. Here we go. Taking it up and over. Three more like this. Two more, last one. Here we go, big circle. And then let's reverse it, other direction. And then let's take those hands and we're gonna go right inside and we're gonna nice, good, just pull those shoulder blades out and sink them in. Okay, pull those shoulder blades out and sink them in. Oh, one more time, pull those shoulder blades out, sink them in and you're gonna press against that knee and you're gonna take one hand, you're gonna look up towards the ceiling. Press on the other knee, twist open. Two more on each side. Getting that mid back, moving a little bit. Last one on each side. Nice, good twist and open. Cat and cow right here, in and out. Oh yeah, three more like that. Two more. Last one, let's take those arms, let's dry those shoulders down. Okay, dry those elbows right in and you're gonna pull those shoulder blades down and squeeze. Okay, coming right down and squeezing for three, two, Last one, take those arms out and we're gonna squeeze those shoulder blades, keeping those elbows tight, boom. Nice, good activation, three, two. Last one, okay, we're gonna pull down. We're gonna pull to the front with our palm open, pull back, push it up, boom. Nice, good rotations, pushing and pulling. Getting some mobility, two more just like this. Last one, and then we're gonna stop right here. We're gonna go internal. Excellent rotation right there for three, two, last one. Take that up, open up that chest. Let's look over that right shoulder. Let's look over that left. Okay, and then open that up again. Let's tilt our head. Let's tilt it the other way. Okay, open that up. Let's tuck our chin in and relax one more time. Tuck it in like you're doing a double chin and relax. Okay, let's roll those shoulders. Let's roll in the other way. Let's roll that neck. Oh yeah, let's roll it the other way. Let's talk about what we're gonna do. We're gonna do two activities, one, che one chest, one um, um, triceps. <laughs> and we're gonna do them three times through, okay? So first one we're gonna do is we're gonna do a chest press. Now again, you can do it on the ground or you can do it on the bench. We're gonna do a nice good chest press. Then we're gonna take that weight and we're gonna go overhead and do an overhead extension, okay? So those are the two activities we're rolling with the first. Okay, so I am going to have nice, good, strong chest press. Okay, I'm gonna push that weight 
And we're gonna rock this in three, two, one. Oh. All the way to that center. And come on down. If you're using an ottoman or a bench like me, you get a little bit more range of motion. Otherwise, you're just stopping at that floor. It's a little more steady. Boom. All the way to the center. We are working for 45 seconds today. Coming on down. Press into that center. Exhale as you come up. Inhale as you come down. 15 more seconds. Then we're going to sit up. You can either do a tall sit if you're on the floor with your legs out front, or you can sit in a chair like me. And we're doing overhead extension in five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Woo, baby. Okay, so we're gonna come right here, behind it behind the head, and up and over. Here we go. Three, two, one, down, and up. Strong core. Give me that full extension at the top. Nice and controlled. Halfway there. Started heavy. I'm gonna have to drop down. That's okay, right? Starting heavy, that's okay. Burden that out. As long as you can control it. 10 more seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Okay, back to those chest press. Okay, let's rock it. Here we go. Three, two, one. Such heavy weight. I'm not getting down there in time. Woo. Oh, man. Woo. Come on, down. Rest that center. Squeeze those shoulder blades, you're doing great. Halfway there. Fifteen more seconds. You got this, come on. Five, four, three, two, one and a rest. Whew. Oh yeah. Okay. Here we go. Overhead extension in three, two, one down and up. You see me, I'm adjusting my weight. Okay, burning that out, that's okay. Right, I'm, I'm working on some strength. Nice and controlled, come on, 20 more seconds. All the way to that buzzer. We got one more round of each of these. Here we go, five, four, three, two, one. Okay, last one of these chest press. We got this, come on, here we go. In, whoo, three, two, one. All the way to that center. Control that baby down. Exhale as you come up. Down and up, come on, you got this. Halfway there. Keep that nice good form. Full range. Control. You got it. It should be challenging if you're doing it right. Ten more seconds. We'll finish out with that overhead extension. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. And rest. Whew. Okay. Last one of these. Overhead extension. Are you ready? Here we go. In three. Two, one down, and up. Okay, so we're gonna do a chest fly next. So I'm gonna grab my mat. Okay, a chest fly. 
gonna be a wider range, so we're gonna have a lesser weight than we do like with a press. And then we're going to do a taped press for the triceps. Come on, you guys. I'm talking to myself. 10 more seconds, let's go, come on, down. And up for five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Oh, yeah, baby. I'm challenging myself right there with you, right? I'm not doing this alone. Okay, so with that chest fly, you're gonna have that elbow slightly bent. You're gonna squeeze to the chest, okay? With the tape press, you're gonna have your arms and you're gonna pull them in so your knuckles touch each other and then you're gonna push to extension, pushing through like that pinky down and up in that laying down position, okay? Let's try it. Chest fly in three, two, one. Now squeeze the chest, control that out. Okay, start with one weight. You might have to go down, right? We're burning out some muscle groups today. So you may be like, oh, I always do this for my chest fly, okay? And you may not be able to do that today. We just tired some of that muscle group out with that chest press. Come on, squeeze it to the center. Okay, nice and controlled. Keep that back nice and stable. I have my feet up, controlling that, keeping that low back a little more stable. 15 more seconds. Then we're gonna try that tape press. Again, exhale as you come to the center, inhale as you come down. Five, four, three, two, one. Okay, you ready for this tape press? Okay, coming in and extend, okay? Here we go, three, two, one. Come in and extend. Bending that elbow and straightening it. Bring those knuckles in. Press through that pinky out. Give me that full extension, that elbow extension comes from that tricep. That's what we're targeting. Halfway there, and then we're going back to those flies. You got it, come on. And again, adjust the weight. You've seen me adjust it, okay? I may need to do it here. Here we go. Oh yeah, five, four, three, two, one. Okay, we've got chest fly again. Woo. Catch that breath, here we go. In three, two, one. Squeeze the center, control that out. Again, your elbows are slightly bent. You wanna protect that elbow joint, okay? But it's a longer lever arm. Squeeze to the center, and back down. Nice and controlled. Really picture squeezing that chest. When we picture what muscle group we're activating, we're gonna get better control. We're gonna get a better activation, right? We're gonna get that mind-body connection, which is so important. Part of the benefits of weight training. Come on, 10 at those two. 10 more seconds. Boom. Oh yeah, five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Okay, you ready to rock the next way? Okay, here we go. Whew. In three, two, one, down, and up. Come on, bring it together. Push that baby out. Inhale, and then exhale, baby. Nice and controlled. Come on, give me that full extension. 15 more seconds. Five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Okay. Whew. Okay, back to those chest flies in three, two, one. Squeeze the center. Control that baby out. Boom. And back. Nice and controlled. Last round of the chest flies. 
I say that, but we are later going to do a standing chest fly. So, <laughs> last one of chest flies here in this section. Really picture squeezing that chest. Come on back down. Come on. Squeeze and control both directions. 15 more seconds. Boom. And back. Here we go. We've got five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Okay, last one of these tape presses. Are you ready? Oh, we're so gonna rock this. Yeah, baby. Here we go. Three, two, oh, I'm down. And extend. Knuckles touch or look towards each other and then extend from those pinkies. Give me that full tricep extension, elbow extension, and my control. Okay, I'm gonna go down to one dumbbell next. We're gonna do a, or you can do um, two minor dumbbells. Okay, we're gonna do a um, diamond press. We're gonna press from the center of our chest. And then we're going to um, do a skull pressure. So you can do one dumbbell, or you can do two lighter dumbbells. Either way, it'll work. You're gonna press right from the center of that chest and out. But we gotta finish here for five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Okay. Whew. So again, we're gonna come down to that chest and we're gonna press that out. Then we're gonna take that up and overhead and extend. Again, you can try with two lighter dumbbells or you can do it with just one. That is up to you. I'm gonna start with a dumbbell and I know I might have to change that up. I'm gonna put one near myself. Okay, you ready to try this? Let's start with that nice, good diamond press. Here we go, three, two, one. Into that center, control it down, press from the center and back. Control it in both directions. 15 more seconds. We've got five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Okay, we're gonna do that nice, good skull crusher. Don't really skull, crush your skull. It comes right up overhead and then that full extension. Here we go. Three, two, one, down. And extend. Keep those feet up. Protect that low back. Nice, more stable position. Coming down. And extend. Exhale as you come up. Inhale as you come down. 15 more seconds. Five, four, three, two, one, and rest. I'm gonna have to change that up next time. My arms are shaking, barely finishing that right. <laughs> Here we go, diamond press in three, two, one. Press that center, control it down. Exhale as you come up, inhale as you come down. Got it, come on. Nice and steady. Fifteen more seconds. All the way to that buzzer. Come on, you got it. Control it. Here we go. We've got five, four, three, two. One and rest. Okay. Whew. Let's see if I hopefully I can do this weight. Here we go. In three, two, one. Tricep skull pressure. Down. Hand up. Okay, again. 
Don't think about what you have been doing. Think about what you can do right now, because like I said, we're burning out that muscle group. So a little more challenging. And come in nice and fresh. Nice and controlled. Really give me that full extension. Control it down, 15 more seconds. Here we go, five, four, three, two, one, and rest, whoo, okay. Last one of each, how's that sound? Diamond press, in three, two, one, press the center, roll it down. Really brace that core, push that out, right there from the center and bring that back in. You got it, come on. Halfway there. And then we'll finish out with one more skull crusher. Always sounds so morbid. <laughs> come on, in and out. You got this, 10 more seconds. Five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Okay, last one on the skull crushers, okay? And then we'll stand up and do some activities. Here we go. Three, two, one. Won't be lazy anymore, just laying down here. <laughs> I'm like the opposite of lazy, right? My arms are shaking. Working hard. Okay, control that down. Control it up. We're gonna do a standing fly. We'll start with the right side, left side, and then we'll alternate on that third round. And then we're gonna do a tricep kickback into extension, okay? But you got 20 more seconds first of this, controlling it both directions. Oh yeah, all the way to that buzzer. You got this. Woo, five, four, three, two, one, and a rest. I don't know about you, my arms are shaking. Okay. These are gonna be a little bit of a lighter weight because we got that long lever arm and that stand fly. You're gonna keep that palm facing up. Okay, so. So you're gonna keep that palm facing up. We're gonna take from one shoulder and we're gonna squeeze that chest as we come up to that opposite shoulder. Again, elbow is slightly bent to control that. Then we're gonna hinge down, squeeze that shoulder blade, extend and back up. I'm gonna do right. Then I'm gonna do left, and then we're gonna alternate, okay? Let's do a stand fly, roll those shoulders back in. Three, two, one. Lift up and squeeze, elbow slightly bent. Lifting up to that opposite shoulder. Nice, strong core, okay? Head, ears are over those shoulders. You got it, come on. Over halfway. We'll do the other side after this. Well, actually, we'll do the same side tricep extension, okay? All the way to that buzzer. We've got five, four, three, two, one, okay? So you're gonna drive that shoulder blade back, squeeze it, and then extend with that, elbow, that pinky towards that ceiling, and back in three, two, one, okay? Pause just slightly on the top so that you're not swinging, but you're controlling it both directions. I know, it makes it a little tougher, doesn't it? Extend and back. Like I said, just pause at the top. Keep that butt out there, that glute should be activated. Take that pressure off that low back. Nice neutral position, over halfway. Okay, you got 15 more seconds. Here we go. We've got five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Okay, we got that fly on the other side. Ooh, I know my gripping gets me. Okay, roll those shoulders back. Here we go. Palm up in three, two, one, lift up and over. Okay, 
Head, ears are over those shoulders. You're coming up and squeezing. Keep that elbow slightly bent. Okay, nice and controlled. And guess what? My core is working hard to stabilize that strong foundation and then pulling that over and across. We do not do just core activities during our core, right? We know that. Boom, and back. 15 more seconds. And then we'll do the left side tricep. Oh yeah. All the way to that buzzer, here we go. Five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Okay, squeezing that shoulder blade, extend back, pause, and then come back, no swinging. Here we go, three, two, one. Drive that back, and extend. Extend that pinky, goes towards that ceiling. Okay, give me that nice, good, full extension, and control that baby back. Nice work, come on. Okay, and then we're gonna alternate after this the standing fly. And then we'll do both arms at the same time when we do that third one on that extension. But you've got 15 more seconds first on this left side. Oh yeah. Boom, and back. Come on, all the way to that buzzer. Five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Okay, alternate. Palm up towards that ceiling. Roll those shoulders back. Let's rock it in three, two, one. Come up and back. Again, strong core. Ears are over those shoulders. Lifting and squeezing. Boom, and back. Come on, halfway there. Keep moving and shaking, you got this. We'll do the tricep extensions. You can alternate or you can do both at the same time. It's up to you. Gotta finish here first. Come on, 10 more seconds. Five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Okay, we got those tricep extensions. Either doing one at a time or both at the same time in three, two, one. Squeeze those shoulder blades, extend. Control, right? It is not a swing, it is a control. Okay, got butts back there, nice neutral spine. Extending and back. This is our last weighted activity. We are doing body weight to finish. We're gonna do some push-ups and some dips. You can do dips on the floor or you can do dips like off of a chair up to you. Woo. But we gotta finish strong. Come on, 15 more seconds. When you're doing those push-ups, you can do them on your toes, you can do them on your knees, you can do them on an incline, or you can do them on the wall. It's just lessening body weight, okay? Here we go. Five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Nice job. Okay. Woo. So when you're doing that push-up, it's all the way down chest, torso, thighs, coming down, and then back up. You can do that on the wall, it's just less weight. You can do it on your toes, okay? That's up to you. And then I'm gonna do dips off of my bench, okay? So I'm gonna come down and back up. Now, the farther your legs are out, the harder it is, the closer they are, okay? But you can do them also on the mat, right here, down and up, and even lessen right here. So let's start with those push-ups. In three, two, one. Okay, nice and controlled. All the way down, all the way up. It's okay if you start with one, right? We've already lessened our body, I mean our weight. Right, when we've been doing some of these activities. Same thing with the body weight. 15 more seconds and we're going to the dips. Also, they're tired, right? We've been working them. That's okay. Four, three, two, one, and rest. Okay, Woo. going to the dips. Are you ready? Here we go. In three, 
two. One, up and down, back up. As much full range as you can. Again, you, the closer you are, that just lessens the body weight. Out farther, makes it a little more challenging. Again, you can even have your bottom down. That just lessens, so you, all you're doing is that upper body. That's okay, that's where we're at, right? You just push you, okay? Don't make it easy, make it challenging. But with control, 15 more seconds. All the way to that buzzer, come on. Five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Okay, round number two. Okay, push-ups. Here we go. Three, two, one. Okay, nice and controlled. All the way down. All the way up. Come on, halfway there. Ten more seconds. Five, four, three, two, one, and rest. You can hear me working hard when I'm trying to count. <laughs> Okay, round two of these tricep dips in three, two, one. Control it down. Push that baby up. Nice work, come on. Again, like I said, you can do this on the floor. It's a little easier, okay? And you can even put that bottom down there. Okay, you can move those feet up a little bit. Change that up. Fifteen more seconds, and then we'll do one more round of each. Five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Okay, last one of these babies. Come on, we got this. Here we go. In three, two, one. Come on, last push up. We did it right. If we're really, really challenged because those muscles are fatigued, right? <laughs> Down and up. Whew. Halfway there. Come on, you got it. And then all we have is dips after this. 15 more seconds. Here we go. Five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Okay, let's finish out with those dips. Oh yeah, it all comes to this, baby. Here we go. Three, two, oh, down, and up. This is it. Okay, give me all you got. Empty that tank. Finish strong. Are you like me or your arms wobbly? Okay, work them hard today. Feeling great. Come on, building those arms to look nice and strong. Come on, 20 more seconds. All the way to that buzzer. You got it, come on, stay focused. 10 more seconds. We've got five, four, three, two, one, and rest. My arms were giving out. Oh yeah. Okay, let's take that across. Drop that shoulder. Oh yeah. Woo. Okay, let's pull that up and behind. Getting that tricep, okay? Now do a big exhale, and then stretch it a little bit more. Nice work. Take that other arm, pull it across. Exhale through that. Okay, take that up and behind. 
Give me a nice good stretch. And now take a big inhale and exhale. A little further stretch. Oh, that feels so good. Okay, let's take those arms and reach behind and open up that chest. Now, if you don't have that range of motion, I get it. Grab a towel, okay, and grab it that other way. Oh, yeah. Take those arms, make a nice good seat position, tuck your head in. Oh, working the shoulder blades a lot to stabilize. Okay, then we're gonna lift that up behind. Nice good extension behind. And now we're gonna pull to the side, tug through that shoulder. Oh yeah, come back, tug through that shoulder. Open that up right there. Squeezing those shoulder blades, now lift that down. Open that up, let's look over our right side. Let's look over our left. Then open that up, let's tilt. And let's tilt and stay open. Four, three, two, one. High five for rocking that. Now, what you need to do is you need to grab some water and flush that system out. Then you need to make sure you're grabbing some quality protein, preferably in the next 30 minutes. Make sure you get the results you're wanting from what you just did by putting the right nutrition into your body and really seeing those results. And then make sure, yeah, we're gonna do it. Hey guys, did you love that video? Do you know this is part of a series called ACT? ACT is about action changes everything. So if you're wanting results, especially during a busy season, you've gotta take action. What action steps can you take? Well, you can subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell so you never miss the next workout. Also, you can become friends with me on social media so you can know what the latest things are happening. And if you're wanting really help, grab her solutions. That is a place where I do my coaching and really helping women find results. I have a free Facebook group and it accesses to the coaching that you may be needing. So take those action steps. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. Let's be friends on social media and reach out if you need coaching. It's all about action changes everything. Have a great day.